We'll also talk about the flu scam. I saw an article in the local moronic newspaper written for idiots saying, you got your flu shot, why are you sick? <laughs> and, of course, the answer is because the flu shot is a scam. And so I'm going to tell you why you should never get a flu shot unless you're a moron and want to uh, make sure that you keep funding the big pharmaceutical companies that make a fortune off the flu shot. You're going to increase your risk of the flu rather than decrease it. I'll talk about that. Let me explain that as, as briefly as I can. The flu vaccine that you get is able to protect you against a certain strain of the influenza virus. And so when they make up the flu vaccine months in advance, months in advance of the next epidemic, it's hard for them to predict the strains of flu that will hit you. There's a variety of strains, of flu strains out there. They can't predict which strains will predominate in the area that you're living in. So today's current flu vaccines are designed and work well against influenza B and influenza A, H1N1 viruses, but they offer little or lower protection against influenza A, H3N2 viruses. Last season, for example, in the United States, the CDC said overall vaccine effectiveness against all circulating flu viruses was only 39%, and vaccine effectiveness was 32% against H3N2 viruses. So that's 40 and 32%. So what I'm saying is, you know, the drug manufacturers can only make what they can make. And right now, there are early indications that this year's vaccine may only be 10% effective, 10% against a dominant strain of the virus circulating the planet. Why? How do we know it's 10%? Because there's a 10% figure that is drawn from a recent New England Journal of Medicine report from an Australian estimate of the vaccine's benefit against only one flu virus, the H3N2 virus, that was running wild in Australia during its most recent flu season. And uh, they get the flu season six months before we do in Australia. So what's the implication for us in the Northern Hemisphere? The implications are that the vaccines may not be effective at all, and if they are, they're of low effectiveness. And from my point of view, I would not weaken my body with a flu shot. I've never taken one. I never will take one. Never. 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 It's one of the great scams of our time, in my estimation. Do what you want. Speak to your health provider or your doctor. Get their opinion. That's my opinion. She said, well, how dare you have an opinion on the flu vaccine? Who are you? Well, it's called common sense and the ability to read the data. I can read the data, and that's it. I'm going to quote my credentials. It doesn't matter. I have good credentials in reading science, but the fact is is that any person of science will tell you the same thing that I just told you, that the flu vaccine is designed to treat a certain strain of virus uh, of the flu that may not be the one that comes around because the flu virus is very smart. It keeps mutating and changing. And then it's something different than the vaccine that you took. So the antibodies that you're getting may be antibodies against a different flu, flu strain. You get it? So, in other words, what you're going to get is your body working against a flu strain, weakening your immune system. And then what? Then when the real flu strain comes along, you may actually be weaker than you would have been had you not taken the flu shot. Again, I have never taken one. I never will take one. I think it's a mass hysteria pushed by the profit motive. Uh, and, and I don't want to go into the whole vaccine issue because I do believe childhood vaccines are a different story entirely, although there are problems with some of them, and there were more problems with some of them years ago when they were using a mercury-based element in the vaccines, which has since been eliminated. Uh, if we do not vaccinate our children, there's going to be much more disease in this country, especially since so many of the third worlders are coming in here without any vaccinations whatsoever and putting our little children at risk, in plain English. Immigrants and epidemics, anyone hear of that? Now you know the rest of the story about the flu scam on the Savage Nation. We can talk about that another time, but that's my whole opinion. I have no other statements. It's a complete statement on the flu scam. Maybe we should make it an MP3 and put it on michaelsavage.com as well. Michael Savage says, don't get a flu shot. Join the Savage Nation. Call now, 855-400-SAVAGE, 855-400-7282. Savage.